The header of your website is a really important part. It's where all of the important links live. And in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make it uniquely yours. I'm Becca Harpain from Inside the Square, and in this video, we're going to be replacing the background of a Squarespace header with our own custom image. To do that, we need to use custom code, and you'll find the code that I'm about to share with you directly underneath this video. But without further ado, I'm gonna share my screen so I can teach you exactly how to use it. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and these are the five steps we're going to take in this tutorial. First, we need to make the header transparent so we can see the background image. I'm going to hop into edit mode by clicking on this button right here. Then we'll select edit site header. And then on the right hand side of the screen, we can choose the edit design option. On the color tab, you'll notice I've selected the solid option for the color. You also have gradient and adaptive here, but let's go ahead and select solid for this tutorial. And for the opacity slider, drag that all the way to the left. Now in this particular example, it looks like my navigation completely disappeared, but it didn't. That's just because my navigation color links are dark like the background. If I click this circle right here, we can change the color really quickly so you can see those links are still there and I want them to be this darker color because the image I'm about to use for my background header is a light color and that's a good contrast. So again, all we needed to do was slide this opacity all the way to the left to make the background of our header transparent. Now we're on to step two. Let's upload the image to our site. I'll select save and exit and on the left hand side of the screen, navigate to your pages menu. At the bottom of the pages menu is website tools, and this is where we'll find custom CSS. This is also where you upload a custom file. We want this image to be on every page of our website where this header is, so we need to upload this image to our custom files. I'll click this drop down and just drag and drop it for my computer. And in the description below, I'll be sure to include the dimensions of this particular image that I'm using. Now we need to add some custom code to place this image in the background of our website header. To do that, I'm going to say header, and I'll open up a curly bracket, and we'll say background image, URL, then a parentheses, and instantly Squarespace is going to place the URL for the image that we uploaded. If that didn't show up for you, click on custom files and click on the image, and Squarespace will place that URL into your code. Now this looks great, but we're not quite done. There's still a few more settings we need to do, and I will include the full code underneath this video. So stick with me here as we work through the rest of it together. I'm gonna add a semicolon and I'm gonna say background size cover. I wanna make sure this background always covers the entire website header. There's another option here that a lot of people like to use if you're using a pattern, you can say contain. Notice how we have a break right here for this particular background image that we're using. This background image wasn't quite large enough for contain, so it repeated itself. If you're using a pattern, that might be the best choice, but for the image that I'm using, cover was the right choice for this particular property. After we've set the size, let's go ahead and confirm the background position. We're gonna set this to center. This will be centering the image horizontally and vertically, and I forgot a semicolon. There we go. We always have to add that semicolon between different properties and values in our code. All right, there we go. So now we've said background image, use this image that we uploaded. Make sure that that image covers the entire website header and make sure that you center that image both horizontally and vertically. Now, last but not least, we're going to add one more line of code that says background color and this will be a fallback color that shows up just in case the image doesn't load if there's some issue with this image url we'll just remove it for example here if there's an issue with that image url the background color will show up instead and i want to make sure this is a high contrast against the color of the links in my navigation now i used a hex color code but you could use a web safe color name if you wanted to like light pink or again, a hex color code, anything that suits the style of your website that keeps that high contrast between the background and your links. Just make sure that you add that background color as a fallback in case your image URL doesn't show up. There's one last thing I wanna cover in this tutorial, and that's what happens when your mobile menu is open. If we click on the mobile view of our site, we'll see that we're still getting the exact same background image. But when we open up the mobile menu, that background image is gone. Every time I've used this code on a client project in the past, they've always wanted to have that background image for the header when the mobile menu is open. 
So if that's what you want to see too, let's go ahead and update our code. We're going to add a semicolon and we're going to add something that seems a little weird. We're going to say header announcement bar wrapper. That's the name that Squarespace has given to this mobile menu header right here. I'm not sure why, but that's what it is. So that's what we're going to add to our code. And now you'll see we have the exact same mobile menu background image when the mobile menu is open or closed. And that's the same header background image that we're going to see on the desktop version of our site. And again, I'll include this entire code underneath the video. After you've made the changes you want to see, select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. And there you have it, Squarespacer. Again, you'll find that full code underneath this video. I'm Becca Harpain from Inside the Square, and I've got a lot more to teach you about all the cool things that Squarespace can do. If you enjoyed this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Good news, Squarespacer. We finally have an AI that truly understands Squarespace. Meet Custom Cody. Built specifically for Squarespace users and trained on every nuance of the program, Custom Cody is your AI-powered assistant for effortless expert-level Squarespace customization. Available now at customcody.com.